Hi folks and good day. Andy here with Pop Yachts. We're lucky enough to be looking at a 2006 Mako 234 center console. This is a two owner boat. Plenty of room on deck. Twin 150 horsepower Suzuki four strokes on the back. Room for 10, 150 gallons of fuel, nice size T-top, 30 gallons of fresh water. No damage to note along any of the rub rails or gel coat. Keel looked all good as well. It's been lift stored under a console cover. Upholstery is about a year old. New speakers. Alrighty, on deck here. Plenty of walking space. Love the combing pads all the way around. Three flush mounted rod holders on both gunnels. Some under gunnel cleats midship. And then another four rod holders up on the T-top. Have you fishing all day. Rear spreader lights, have you fishing all night. Helms laid out beautifully. Accessory switches right where you want them. Flip on these electronics here, uncover this. Garmin's 3210 GPS map, large and in charge color screen. Nice clear gauges as well. Smooth throttle, smooth steering, uh, trim tabs, and then also anchor windlass remote for the Lumar up front. You can see through the very nice clear windshield. And this is a Uniden Polaris VHF. Six speakers were just installed. Stereo system, CD player, faceplate's missing at the moment. Probably keep that inside. Boss Marine, T-top mounted speakers, Clarion. There's another two on either side of this seat and then up top on the glove box. Let's check out the Suzuki's real quick. Twin, 150 horsepower, four strokes. 468 hours on them, last week of August 2016. Love the easy access to the water with the walkthrough transom door. Integrated swim platform. Got a beefy swim ladder holder. And then the mount is over here on the port side. No damage to note on either of the skegs. Just a little sand wear, pretty standard for Florida. Beautiful stainless steel props on both. These cruise effortlessly between 30 and 32 miles per hour. Sea Stars hydraulic steering system. All the parts and hardware look great. I love the layout on the deck here. Room for 10 on board. Looks like a rear transom bench seat might drop down in this. Easy access to the bilge and filters as well. Got a transom live well, downrigger mount, under gunnel rod storage and cleats, and then in floor fish boxes on both sides. Wash down and a little shower head here. Keep some hooks ready to go. Multiple drawers for tackle storage. The seat back pivots forward. Give it easy access. This gigantic live well. Both of these have their own lights on them. Securely mounted grab rail for any rougher days it sees. Seat cushion looks good. A little wear on the top of this. Inside the console. Changing room, room for a porta potty. Two people could fit in here if needed. Some 12 volt lighting, dual battery switches by guest and breaker panel, as well as a fire extinguisher. I love the recessed bow rail. Forward casting decks on both sides. Again, non skid material, even up on the bow here. Got Lumar's windlass navigation lights, and a large anchor locker. Plenty of rope and chain in there. Both these storage boxes are on pneumatic arms. 
easy access. They also look insulated as well. And then additional in-store or in-floor storage. Got some fenders in there momentarily. 30 gallons of fresh water. Rinse off. Feel good all day when you get out of the salt. Another cooler. And then the fresh water fill cap. Oh, this upholstery looks in excellent shape. I'm Andy. Make sure you check out all the high resolution photos we've got on popyachts.com. Give me a call today. I'd love to meet you in person. Let's have you come take a look and really appreciate everything the Mako line has to offer. This beautiful 234 is turnkey ready. The seller tells me everything's operational and ready to go. Let's get you fishing, scuba, just cruising, anything out on the water and having fun, I'm a fan of. Talk to you soon.